I think we all know what, or should I say who, brought in the crowd. So why don't we just start with the matter of, of Marissa Cooper. Uh, Ms. Townsend, you were speaking on behalf of the Parents Association. Would you care to open? Where's Dad? He'll be right back. Thank you, Judge Mercer. As I'm sure you all know, Marissa Cooper shot a boy in the back. As head of the Parents Association and a concerned parent myself, I can tell you, this is not what the parents want. And this is not what the Harbor students want either. Yes, it is. Sit down, young lady. Children are not permitted to address the board. Um, but they're allowed to address each other, right? Taylor, why don't you show us what you've got? It's a petition with over 300 signatures. Basically, the entire student body. Well, this is all well and good, but Ms. Townsend is correct. Students do not make the decisions on these matters. Well, I am not a student, and I would like to tell everyone here that Marissa has shown such dignity and maturity throughout this entire nightmare. Of course you think so. You're her mother. You're absolutely right, Veronica, so I'll speak on behalf of Miss Cooper. Go, Dr. Roberts. Right. Sorry, sir. Marissa Cooper has been living in my home for the past few months, so I can say without hesitation that this young lady would make any father proud and the school would be lucky to have her. Well, that's a nice sentiment, Dr. Roberts, and this student petition is certainly meaningful, but I don't think I can advise the board to break precedent here. This school has never readmitted a student who has been expelled for reasons relating to violence. Uh, that's not exactly true. Uh, there is precedent. He's right. Um, ten years ago, a case not all that different from Marissa's. It was a knife, not a gun, but uh, the incident occurred on campus. And after no criminal charges were filed, the expulsion was reversed. The students of the school need to respect the sanctity of this hearing and shut up. Unfortunately, even though this young man is speaking out of turn, he's right. But I still don't have to reinstate. You don't have to reinstate, but you might want to. Oh, enlighten me, Mr. Cohen. Why would I want to do that? Because sometimes a good kid goes through a rough time. And we might think by closing a door to her, or to him, we're teaching a lesson. And when that child needs us the most, we're not there for them. There isn't a person in this room that thinks Marissa Cooper is a threat to anyone, or that she wasn't a model student, or that she wouldn't continue to be. So what are we doing here? Instead of proving a point, let's right or wrong. It's so rare in life that anyone gets a second chance. The board has reached its verdict, and with only one dissenting vote, we have decided to let Marissa Cooper return to Harvard. Um, do you guys think that I could uh, get a ride home? <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, we can manage that. Okay. All right. Hell no. Sister, you're sleeping over. <laughs> Your Honor, this isn't a courtroom, Mr. Cohn. Right. Well, I just wanted to say thank you. I know what you were doing, but you made your case. And I appreciate that you've kept your information just between us. I, uh, I know where he is. What? A private detective tracked him down to Los Angeles. He's safe. My friend brought him to this shelter. He said he'd like to see you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
my hero. Thanks for being here, Bob. No, oh, Marissa. I feel like I've let you down in so many ways. That's really not true. There is no condo, no renovations. I live in a trailer park. I was too ashamed to tell you. Wow, well, I knew there was something, but... Look, I'll come home whenever you want. Sweetheart. Thanks, Dad. That was pretty cool of you standing up for Marissa like that. Too bad Gloria wasn't here to see you in action. Yeah. Listen, sweetheart, um, I don't think your stepmom's gonna be coming back. I'm sorry, Dad. But you didn't have to be so scared to tell me. I mean, we do okay, right? Right. I think that we are gonna go to the diner. So we'll see you later. Coop! <laughs> have fun, you guys. You know, all things considered, I think I raised a pretty good kid. Mm, I think we both did. You wanna drink? Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, so, what changed your mind about coming back here? Well, Johnny got put on the Pack West tour, and Chili said he was gonna go with him, so it just seemed kind of stupid to stay at Union by myself. All right. That wasn't me. No. A little bit. Okay, a little. Okay. Coop, Alex, come on. Right. You know what? Coming. Why don't I meet you at the diner? Okay. All right. I'll see you there. Called your house. Mom said you'd be here. Told her I was really happy for you. Getting back on the team. Yeah, well. Just lucky, I guess. Thank you. She deserves to be happy. I will see you around. Yeah, sure. See ya. Screw California Friends that are never there Places that they all love